Disney is known for bringing the magic, but a brand new protocol that was just released for Disney Cruise Lines might make your cruise a little less magical. Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruise. We are a YouTube channel all about the love, passion, and obsession that is cruising. And if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to us. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the week because that is when we go on Adventure of the Seas out of the Bahamas. Thank you to everyone that has been recently subscribing. Our channel has been growing so fast and it is thanks to our dedicated viewers like you. Thank you, we love you, we appreciate you, and let's get into the news. Okay, there has been a lot of news over the last several days, really over, over the last several weeks. It feels like every day it's almost a marathon to keep up with the news. And we're going to get into a bunch of different things with different cruise lines, but I wanted to start today's segment by talking about Disney. Now, I love Disney World and I love Disneyland. I, I love all things Disney. I've never been on a Disney cruise, but I really want to go. However, this new protocol is making me not want to go on a Disney cruise for a while. And that is because the one thing that I do not like about Disney and going to Disney World is standing in line for rides. Now, thanks to some new technology, now they're doing virtual queues and that has made lines a lot easier. But there are still one, two, even three hour lines to get on some of your favorite rides on a busy day in the parks. And now they're going to have something similar on their ships. Disney Cruise Line just announced updated protocols for their test sailings, which will be happening later this month. And in order to go onto the pool deck and go swimming, you have to enter a virtual queue. I think the thing that is really difficult about, uh, difficult about this is this virtual queue line opens up 30 days before you set sail, which means if you miss your opportunity to sign up for a virtual queue line spot at the pool, you may never see the outside while you're on your cruise. And for me, that would be devastating. That is like one of my favorite parts about going on a cruise is being on the pool deck and looking out and seeing the ocean. You know, a lot of these cruise lines are putting in infinity pools on their pool decks so that you can be in the pool and look out at the ocean at the same time. And I just think that would be a huge bummer if you only got to go outside for like one hour a day or for two hours a day. I do not like this new protocol at all. And for the price that you have to pay to go on a Disney cruise, I don't think that it's gonna be worth it. I mean, I, I get it. There's some people that are really, really big Disney Cruise Lines, and I'm not, I'm not here to rip on Disney Cruise Lines. I think Disney Cruise Lines probably are one of the best cruises that you can take in the world. I, I have not, again, I've not experienced it myself, but based on all of my friends and family that have been on Disney Cruise Lines, they tell me that they Disney does it best. And of course they do. Disney does everything the best. But I do not like this. This. Uh, this rule of having to join a virtual queue in order to go to the pool deck and get in the pool and be in the sun. I do not like it at all. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Does this, does this rub you the wrong way? Does this rub you as bad as it rubs me? Because I'm not a big fan of this new protocol. I'm also wondering what this means for other parts of Disney ship. You know, we know the pool on the sun deck is going to have a virtual queue. What does this mean for the shows? What does this mean for dining, for the restaurants? How tight are those restrictions? If these are the tight restrictions that are outside, what type of restrictions are going to be indoors? It makes me very worried. And it goes along with what I think is about to happen with unvaccinated cruises. And I want to get into that a little bit. This is a good segue to get into it. So 
we recently know that cruise lines have flipped on their stance of vaccines, right? Royal Caribbean was saying, you know, we're going to have vaccinated cruises. Now they're saying we're not. Carnival was saying we will not go vaccinated cruise, cruises. We will not go that route. Now they're saying they will for the whole month of July. It's going to be vaccines only that will be vaccinated people only that will be allowed on the ships. They have flipped. And a lot of people are upset about this on both sides. People are upset. Um, you know, that vaccines are required. People are upset that vaccines are not required. I have this feeling that if you are going to go on an unvaccinated cruise and you don't want to show proof of vaccine because you either have not been vaccinated or you feel like that is an infringement upon your personal health, um, I think it's going to be a miserable, miserable experience. I think what's going to happen is Royal Caribbean is going to say, if you're unvaccinated, you have to follow a separate set of protocols. They actually have already said that. I think those separate set of protocols are going to be intense. Um, you know, potentially kind of like Disney, not allowing people to go out on the pool deck or having that super, super limited, maybe not being allowed to go to restaurants, having to dine in your room. Definitely mask wearing. You're going to have to wear a mask everywhere on the ship at all times. That's, that's a no brainer. Um, potentially not being able to leave the ship and get off and go on excursions or go to, you know, diff visit different destinations. I think we could see potentially a lot of those rules in play. So then it makes you not want to cruise, right? So like if you're not vaccinated, you don't want to, you don't want to cruise. So either your option are, your options are to go get a vaccine and go the vaccinated route where you bypass all those rules, you vacation like normal, you don't have to really do anything different than uh, before and you have a great vacation. I, I, that's just my opinion. I think that we're going to see that happen. So I think it's going to force people to either get their vaccines to travel or just not, not choose to travel with the cruise lines. We'll find out what Royal Caribbean's protocols will be in the coming weeks and we're going to talk about them. But this is my gut feeling that if you are unvaccinated and going to go on a cruise, buckle up and get ready for some pretty intense rules because I believe that that's what's going to happen. It's also a way for the cruise lines to bypass and get around the law in Florida. They're almost incentivizing people to want to show their vaccine cards. How it's worded, how it was worded in the press release that was uh, sent out last Friday with Royal Caribbean, it basically says if you are unable or unwilling to verify vaccination, then you will be subject to a different set of rules. So that's exactly kind of what I'm saying here. Like if you, you can volunteer to say, hey, I'm vaccinated. And then you're like, great, you get a green bracelet. Now you don't have to wear a mask and you can do whatever you want to do on the ship. Or I'm not vaccinated or I'm not going to show my vaccine card. Okay, great. You're going to get a, a yellow bracelet. And those with yellow bracelets have to have masks at all times. You can't eat in the dining room. You have designated pool times, you know, things like that. And I think people will not want to do that. So I think people will choose to go the vaccinated route. This is just my opinion. Take it for what you want. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or if you don't. All right, let's get into just a couple other pieces of news. Other cruise lines are coming and announcing they're restarting. So Norwegian has come out and said that their first sailing from the U.S. is going to be um, in the middle of August out of Seattle on the Norwegian Encore to Alaska. They have switched up those ships. So the Bliss in the fall is now going to be going south. To Mexico, the Encore is now going to be going to Alaska. So if you're previously booked on the Bliss, you now are going to be moved over to the Encore and you'll be sailing on that ship up to Alaska. MSC is another cruise line that recently came out just today and said that they are ready to restart. They're going to have their simulated sailings in July and they hope to be back out on the water with three and four night Bahamas itineraries in August and then seven night itineraries starting in September, of course, all out of Florida. The last cruise line here that we have not mentioned yet today is Carnival. Carnival is going to be sailing vaccine only cruises in the month of July and they said they will be restarting first out of Texas which we know um, that the Vista is going to be the very first ship that is going to be going out of Galveston followed shortly by the breeze um, in the middle of July but of course we can't have news of ships going back out with more drama. The governor of Texas yesterday signed a bill that is effective immediately that the cruise lines or any other business operating in the state of Texas cannot make people show their vaccine cards or verify vaccine passports. 
one step forward, 500 steps back. <laughs> this is what has been going on for the last year. I feel like it's just like with the governors and the CDC and the cruise lines, it's just this tug of war game constantly going back and forth. So now the question is, what is Carnival going to do? We're going to have to see because they, they just said, we're going to sail out of Texas. We're going to require vaccines. And then the governor of Texas said, no, 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 you don't. I'm signing this bill and you're not allowed to make people show, show their vaccine cards. So that's going to be some interesting news and we're going to have to see how that plays out. I wonder if Carnival will do something similar to Royal Caribbean by reversing their decision and then incentivizing people to show vaccine cards. That's what I think is gonna happen. I really, really feel it in my gut. That's what I think is gonna happen. And then all of you that are booked on the horizon in the beginning of July out of Miami, they still don't know what's going on with that ship. There has not been any type of protocols announced. They don't know if it's gonna be required, vaccine required. I mean, Carnival did say sailings in July will be vaccines for, vaccine required. So we can assume that that will be the case, but there's not been this pointed messaging to the horizon uh, group that is all sailing out on July 4th. Also, they still don't know how that's gonna work out with the governor in Florida. These governors are really standing in the way of the cruise lines in terms of just making it harder for them to, to set sail again. So we'll have to see what happens. All right, that was a lot of news. And that means that I need a lot of you to let me know what you think. The comments are open for discussion. Please let, let me know. What do you think of all of this news that's going on? What do you think of Disney? What do you think of Norwegian and MSC? What's going to happen with Carnival? Let us know in the comments. We want to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video with a friend, tell someone you love to go follow JJ Cruz on YouTube. We appreciate it. Again, it is free for you and it means the world to us. Until next time, see ya.